Hi guys, um, so we're going to be learning how to um, uh, medicate a snake tonight using a small stomach tube, a small, small feeding tube. Um, obviously um, this will be needed for any oral medications that you're going to be doing. Um, there's a couple of things you need to get ready before we start and we've got our patient uh, Noodle here today um, who's going to be, uh, who needs medication so we're, we're going to be using her to demonstrate. So you need your medication bottle, um, you need your syringe and you need your feeding tube. Um, now the feeding tube has two components, there is the main feeding tube and there's also the connector. The connector's purpose is just to allow the, it to, to, to attach to the syringe, so that's how you should end up um, at the end there. Then what you're going to do, um, if you get your medication ready, depending on the medication you, you need to shake some, others you don't. Um, and you then draw up, which is not going to work, because I've got the wrong side syringe, let me just slot that over. Perfect. <laughs> Um, so you then draw up your uh, medication, so you'll have um, whatever the dose is that you need to give. Perfect. And then you're going to reattach that to your um, tube and you're ready to go there. Um, what's also helpful is if you have another syringe with an air ambulus or water, depending on your preference, drawn up and then because we're going to use that to flush this amount of uh, medication through it all um, and then go from there. It's a lot easier with two people, but I'm going to show you one person in case you are doing this solo. Um, so what you want to do is gently restrain the snake around the head, um, and then you want to be keeping their body nice and straight, this part particularly nice and straight while we're doing this. You're then going to be popping it into their mouth, and just down a little bit past there, sort of that'll be plenty, so about halfway down there, and you want to be putting the medication in, and then you can use your other, whoops! If you do that, you can just um, draw this back and use that to flush through again. Um, and so obviously that will then push the medication through. And you want to do that just a couple of times if you're using these smaller syringes and that just uses a little air embolus to push that through um, so that you make sure all the medication goes in there. Um, I'll just do that one more time. And yeah, you can also use water for this as well if you prefer. There we go, great, and then as you're coming out, you just want to kink that tube and pull that out gently, and you're all done. Alright, you did very well.